Well, it's election day. Massive inflation. Epic inflation. The highest in 45 years. Yes, Joe, you did it. You own it. It's the economy, stupid. I'm Jazz Gonzo, and this is What's Next. Hey, what's up, everyone? Jazz Gonzo here. It's here. It's the day. It's election day. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Of course, this is What's Next, your daily dose of common sense and facts. As millions of people get ready to vote today, as millions of others who already have voted through either mail-in or early voting, you got to ask yourself a number of questions. What are the most important issues today? Is it the borders? Yes. Is it crime? Yes. Is it stupid, idiotic policies from our democratic leaders? You bet. But what's the one that tends to mm, overshadow everything else? Inflation, high gas prices, high food prices. Um, when you can't afford to pay your bills, your car, your house, or even the most simplest of things of even going out on a Friday night, it's all due to inflation. And who's to blame? Yes, Joe, that will be you. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Breitbart Business Digest, the Inflation Reduction Election. Inflation is hands down the most important issue on the minds of Americans on the eve of midterm elections. An economist poll taken of 1,500 American adults in the first week of November found that 68% say they will be thinking about inflation a lot when casting their vote. That's a higher share than any other issue, from the border to guns to abortion. Save the economy, which scores 73%. When asked the single most important issue facing the country right now, 27% say inflation, followed by 10% for healthcare, economy, and jobs. The Biden administration has struggled to present a palatable program for fighting inflation. There was the infamous Inflation Reduction Act, which of course is AKA the America Over Act, which every reputable economist agree will do little or nothing to reduce inflation. According to the economist poll, just 32% of Americans say they approve of dementia handling the inflation. 54% they disapprove of dementia on inflation, with 40% saying they strongly disapprove. So basically, 72% say dementia has no idea what he's doing. Have you watched him on stage lately? One thing handicapping the dementia administration is that he left not to take the inflation problem seriously. Just 15% of Biden voters said inflation is the top issue. Among self-described liberals, just 9% of inflation say is the top issue. Among Democrats, inflation is the number one issue at just 18%. Democrats just say 18% is important regarding inflation. Wow, talk about out of touch. Compare that with 26% of moderates and 28% of independent voters. Similarly, the left thinks that Biden is doing a great job on inflation. The left, excuse me. Job approval on the issue among Biden voters is sky high at 65%. Those are Obama numbers when it comes to how good he's doing. Fucking ridiculous. Among liberals and Democrats, it's 63%. Among independents, however, Biden's job approval on inflation, just 21%. Among self-described moderates, it's 40. The racial politics of inflation is disconcerting for Democrats. 71% of black Americans say they'll be thinking about a lot of, a lot of inflation when they vote. That's huge. With just 16% strongly approving Biden's handling on the issue and 31% someone approving, 32% of black Americans disapprove of Biden's handling on inflation among Hispanics. 62% say they will be thinking about inflation a lot. Again, we're talking all-time high numbers here, with 40%, 46% saying they disapprove on Biden's issue. 30% Disapprove strongly, 38%, uh, excuse me, just 38% approve. Among whites, 69% say they will be thinking about inflation a lot. So check that out. 65 among blacks, 62 against uh, among Hispanics, 60, um, excuse me, 69% among whites. 61% disapprove of violence on inflation, just 29% approve. We will likely know who will control the House and the Senate by the time Labor Department releases consumer price index on inflation. A month ago, CPI showed consumer prices were 8.3% from a year earlier. Core inflation, which excludes energy and food and goods prices, was up 6.6%, the largest annual increase since 1982 when Reagan was just starting to get his revolution running. 
Economists are forecasting a year-over-year -year headline number that will fall to 8% but remain at 66 at core. The consensus, however, has consistently underestimated inflation, so an upside surprise seems likely, but not in time, of course, being what today is. Americans cannot simply vote on inflation away, but solid majorities of Republicans and the House and Senate could provide some relief. On the supply side, GOP Senate majority could block climate activists. Yes, it needs to be done because that's trash. Appointments that are playing a role in discouraging domestic fuel production. On the demand side, GOP majorities will be able to prevent the kind of overspending that got us into this mess in the first place. The fact of the matter is, is that when you have numbers of over 60% of all major voting blocks, black, Hispanic, and white, who basically say that is the main thing that is in my head when I go push that button or pull that lever. That's huge. That's huge, especially on a day like day, like day today, excuse me. At the end of the day, what country or what kind of country do you want? Do you want to continue the garbage and the nonsense that we have had spewed and vomited on us the last two plus years? Or say what you want about Donald Trump, $2 gas and mean tweets. The Republicans have an opportunity of a lifetime here with the so-called red wave. They're going to take the House. They could take it as low as by 30. They could take it as high as by 60. The Senate is going to be a little bit harder, but it looks like they can pull it off, possibly a plus four or plus five. But do I expect shenanigans to go on after the polls close at 8 o'clock tonight? You bet. As I have tweeted over the last several days from state to state, whether it's Michigan, whether it's Florida, whether it's uh, Arizona, whether it's New York, be better. Be better, America. We can be. Vote. Not vote like your life depends on it. Not vote like your democracy depends on it. Not vote to save the republic. Vote and make it count. What do you want? What America do you want to live in? That's all it comes down to. And like I said at the beginning of this, it looks like it's the economy, stupid. I'm Jazz Borgonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.